el tiempo presente en español. Explicación gramatical. Verbos regulares terminados en ER. Our goals in Spanish. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to demonstrate comprehension about the conjugation of the regular verbs ending in ER, to identify the stem of the regular verbs ending in ER and their corresponding endings for the correct conjugation in present tense. Nuestros objetivos en español. Al final de esta lección, tú podrás, primero, demostrar comprensión acerca de la conjugación de los verbos regulares terminados en ER. Segundo, identificar las raíces de los verbos regulares terminados en ER y su correspondiente terminación para la correcta conjugación en tiempo presente. The simple present tense. This is the most common tense in English and Spanish, and it is also known as indicative because it can be used to ask questions and make statements. Remember, the present tense has a very easy pattern to follow with regular verbs ending in ar, er, and ir. All personal pronouns keep the same stem, but different verb endings. El presente simple. Este es el tiempo gramatical más común en inglés y en español, y también se le conoce como el indicativo, ya que se puede usar para hacer preguntas y para hacer declaraciones o enunciados. Recuerda que el tiempo presente tiene un mismo formato a seguir con los verbos regulares terminados en ar, er o ir. Todos los pronombres personales conservan la misma raíz, pero tienen diferentes terminaciones verbales. ER, regular verbs in Spanish, have two parts. One, the stem of the verb. Two, the ER ending. The stem is everything that is left after we drop the ER ending. Ending is the last two letters in the regular verb. In this case, it's going to be ER. For example, we have different stems like a COM and the ending is going to be ER para comer, to eat. BEB, -E that the stem for beber, to drink. Correr, to run. Leer, to read. Deber, to owe. Creer, to believe. Aprender, to learn. Let's conjugate the verb to drink, beber. In this lesson, we are going to use the verb beber, to drink, as a model. It is important to remember that the stem of the verb is going to be exactly the same one for all personal pronouns. For example, Beber to drink. We need to drop ER and the rest of the verb, in this case, BEB -E is the stem. Now, let's conjugate the verb beber by just changing the endings. Remember, beber, we have BEB -E as the stem. One, I drink. Yo bebo. O is the ending for yo. Yo bebo. Two. You drink. Tú bebes. Es is the ending for two. Tú bebes. Three. He or she drinks. Él o ella bebe. E is the ending for él o ella. Él o ella bebe. Four, we drink, nosotros o nosotras bebemos. Hemos is the ending for nosotros o nosotras. So we say, nosotros o nosotras bebemos. Five, you drink, 
vosotros o vosotras bebéis. Eis is the ending for vosotros o vosotras. So we are going to say vosotros o vosotras bebéis. Six. You drink. Ustedes beben. En or en is the ending for ustedes. Ustedes beben. Seven. They drink. Ellos o ellas beben. En is the ending for ellos or ellas. We say ellos o ellas beben. Conjugación de los verbos regulares terminados en ER. Resumen de esta lección. Lesson Summary. Present tense, regular verbs ending in ER. Now we are going to use the verb TEMER, to fear. So we have the ending ER, we're going to drop it, and the stem is going to be TEM. With all different personal pronouns, we are going to conjugate this verb like this. Yo temo, tú temes, él, ella, usted teme. Nosotros, nosotras tememos. Vosotros, vosotras teméis. Ellos, ellas, ustedes temen. T-E-M. This is the stem of the verb, and it is the same for all personal pronouns. I want you to pay attention about the different endings for all different personal pronouns. One more time, yo temo, tú temes, él, ella, usted teme, nosotros, nosotras tememos, vosotros, vosotras teméis, ellos, ellas, ustedes temen. Remember, this is very easy. In order to conjugate regular verbs in Spanish and then in ER, you just need to drop ER and add the following endings for different personal pronouns. We have correr, to run, yo corro, o, tú corres, es, él, ella, usted corre, e, nosotros, nosotras corremos, hemos. Vosotros, vosotras corréis, eis. Ellos, ellas, ustedes corren, en. Explicación gramatical. Verbos regulares terminados en er. El tiempo presente en español.